So this last week, I was in a meeting with a friend of mine from a mastermind group that I'm a part of. It has a bunch of super successful entrepreneurs that are way more successful than I am, which is a great place to be if you are running your own business or even if you want to advance in your career. Find people that are more successful than you. Spend as much time with them as you can. So I'm in this meeting with this guy, and he's telling me the story about how he grew his company. And he said, you know, one of the most important parts of me growing was I had an existing network from my previous career. And he said, when I, when I branched off and I started my own business, I utilized that network to be able to get my first five or so clients. And then I go, man, that would have been great. When I started my agency, you know, I had nothing. I, you know, I had, I had limited marketing knowledge even, uh, we just started creating videos on YouTube for fun and got asked if we could do videos for other companies. And like, that was my first foray into marketing. And I said, man, if I had an existing network, if I had worked for an agency or I worked for a brand where I knew these other marketers, like it probably would have been a lot easier for me to get bigger clients early on. And then we got on the conversation about leverage and how important leverage is in advancing in life and in business in almost all aspects. Now, leverage can come from everywhere. Leverage can come from having a large audience on social media to where they trust and love a lot of what you say, such that if you were to launch your own product, they're going to adopt it. They're going to want to buy it. A great example of this is The Rock. The Rock came out with Terramana Tequila. It's, I think it's the fastest growing spirit in the United States, worth like $4 billion. If I were to launch a tequila company, pretty sure it wouldn't be $4 billion. The Rock has the leverage of being a global superstar, all right? People want to buy the things that he comes out with. Another example of leverage would be to have technology, advanced technology that you can't get anywhere else, all right? So a lot of companies come out. Uber was the first Uber, right? Now there's the Uber of this and the Uber of that, but Uber was the first sort of Uber, Okay. So they had this, they cornered the market and were able to, you know, advance enough and create technology enough to grow. Now they did have competition and lift, but they had limited competition and maximum leverage. So here's a tip for all of you out there. Try to figure it out, figure out what you want to do with your career and your life. That's point Z, let's call it. And figure out where you are now. Maybe you're at point D. Maybe you're at the beginning of your journey. Now, figure out what do you have now? What leverage do you have now that can get you to E, if you're at D, and then to F, right? What leverage can you have now to get you to the next step, which will get you to Z? That's an exercise that I've started doing every single day. What lever can I press to get done what I need to get done to get to the next step? If you can do this every day, day after day, week after week, month after month, you will grow. Hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, share this with somebody you think it will inspire. And if you want any more marketing and sales and business tips, that's all I talk about on this channel. And you can head over to my website as well, jtimmerman.com, where I give away free resources and templates to help you grow your business better.